Hey, it's Monday here on the Daily Chuckle. I'm joined all this week by comedian Patrick Passivium. Came very well, well dressed Sounds for this segment. That's right. That's right. You came directly from work, though, yes. right? Yes. Yes. Uh, gotta look good for work. I hope to uh, appreciate uh, hats and whatnot. <laughs> Even though I don't do anything but stare at a computer screen all day, it makes no sense. So, what do you do at work? Uh, I write jokes. <laughs> you write jokes. That, that isn't your your main occupation. No, no, I do that at my you, other job though. Don't tell them that. Um, don't. don't obviously, you're not going to share this. No, no, no. Uh, I sit around on Twitter, Facebook, uh, write blogs, and um, that's it. And I share what happens on LouisvilleComedy.com on Facebook because that's how you spread stuff. <laughs> LouisvilleComedy.com. That's right. Uh, what comedians do late at night? That uh, you know. I, I say I know it's not the comic, <laughs> but uh, is that we hang out after late after gigs, mm -hmm. and there's really most of the time there's no places that are that are open, except the worst places. <laughs> except the worst places. Except Waffle the House is open. Waffle House, Denny's. Ugh. Ugh. And what what do you hate the most about going into those places late at night? Cracker Barrel is Cracker Barrel open that late? If, I don't think it is, but if Cracker Barrel was, I would go in there because it's like my favorite restaurant. Any place that you can just by knickknacks before you eat is great. Lynn's Paradise Cafe here in Louisville. I've never been there, but I've heard amazing things. You can buy knickknacks. What's Maybe. a knickknack? I don't even know what a knickknack is. I don't know. Just a, a giant bar of chocolate, which makes no sense. You get that there. A big cloth checkerboard. Who needs that? Nobody, but it's awesome. They have that there? Yeah, the little peg game. I mean, I don't know how you... Has anybody ever won that? <laughs> I don't think they have, but you can buy it there at Crack Barrel. It's amazing. The thing that I hate about going into, I've gone into Denny's late at night, and there could be three people in there. You still always have to wait five minutes for a table. Of course. Like, I never understand that. And they always have to look at the seating chart. It's because like, they're still cleaning up the vomit from the last two people that were in there at four in the morning. Here's what I think they should do with Denny's employees. All right, I think they should send them all overseas, make them soldiers, because they have seen the worst shit. So going overseas to fight in a war would make, wouldn't be anything to at all. They wouldn't care. It would just be explosion. What would their weapon be? Horrible coffee? <laughs> just old, stale pancakes and horrible coffee. I almost don't never want to talk to like the graveyard workers <laughs> at like a Waffle House. Because like, know. what have you done in your life that, <laughs> that, that, that that's your job option? Uh, well, with the economy now, I kind of understand. I might have to apply to the Waffle House. I'd get turned down. Because that's my life. You're overdressed for the job. <laughs> and, yeah, they would just, no. Do you have any STDs? No. Well, you, you're overqualified for Waffle House. Yeah, I just assume, if you work at Waffle House, I apologize. You may not have STDs. They just, don't have computers if they walk for the water. They're not watching this anyway. Well, let's take a look at a clip from Mike Armstrong talking about his experiences in Denny's. Everywhere I go, I do fall. First thing my wife says to me whenever we go anywhere, you say one more drink. <coughs> She still mad because got kicked out of Denny's one time. <laughs> We're in Savannah, Georgia, did a midnight show walking Denny's like 3 o'clock in the morning. I didn't know they had had a Civil War reenactment earlier that day. <laughs> Walk in, all these people are in uniforms. I went, hey, service around here must suck. How long y'all been waiting? <laughs> Denny's has no sense of humor at 3 o'clock in the morning. She won't ever take you nowhere nice like a nice restaurant. You know how you gotta wait in line, they always ask your last name? Always go next. <laughs> they're like, who's next? Right here. <laughs> After about 15 minutes of that, they'll get you a table. <laughs> and that's been Mike Armstrong. You could check him out this week at the Improv, Thursday through Sunday, the 8th through the 11th. Go get your tickets now, improvlouisville.com. We'll see you tomorrow on another edition of The Daily Chuckle.